what is happening around the world in many places now is so very much the spirit of a serpent, so very clearly the work of the enemy. I believe that Kenneth Hagin has been operated in the spirit of a sorcerer since 1938. That's 59 years. I believe he's been building and bewitching the people all during these 59 years. This was the Kenneth Hagin Holy Ghost meeting. In that meeting, it is very clear to me that the spirit of the serpent was manifest. The primary things that I saw was the hissing, like the hissing of a serpent. And of course, to go with that was the tongue of this man, Kenneth Hagin, coming out and slithering like the tongue of a serpent. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. The anointing is transferable. The anointing is transferable. The anointing is transferable. The anointing is transferable. Is transferable. Amen. Same anointing, actually twice as much that Elijah had on him, Elisha, it was transferred to him. Amen. Amen. Same anointing, actually twice as much that Elijah had on him, Elisha, it was transferred to him.
Hallelujah. 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 is transferable. The anointing is transferable. My friends, you can believe that Satan himself is laughing at these foolish people. And such are false apostles deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Here's a metaphysical, paranormal power by which they transform themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is of no great thing if his ministers also be transformed metaphysically paranormal as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their work. That every human being was a God. God came from heaven, became a man, made man into little God. You say, Benny, am I a little God? You're a son of God, aren't you? You're a child of God, aren't you? You're a daughter of God, aren't you? What, what else are you? Quit your nonsense. What else are you? I am. If you say I am, you're saying I'm a part of him, right? Is he God? Are you his offspring? Are you his children? You can't be human. Because you are divine. But I'm to be poor. I mean, what's God supposed to call us? Doesn't the Bible say we're created in his image? I'm a God man. I'm a sample of Jesus. I'm a God man. I'm a sample of Jesus. We are Christ. We are Christ. We are Christ. That means the way you accepted Christ as your your salvation and forgiveness of sins, right? Now you accept the Lord Jesus Christ at God's right hand as your true self. As your true self. As your true self. That is not your true self. That is not your true self. That is not your true self. Your true self before God, in God's eyes, is the man at God's right hand. Your true self before God, in God's eyes, is the man at God's right hand. Your true self before God, in God's eyes, is the man at God's right hand. You live, yet not you, but Christ lives in you. Amen. So the thing is this, God is saying, look away from yourself. Look away from all your shortcomings, your sins. Stop being introspective. Look away from yourself and see the man at God's right hand. He is you. He is you.
We are Christ. We are Christ. We are Christ. Your true self before God, in God's eyes, is the man at God's right hand. Let me tell you your history in Christ. When Jesus was at the cross, understand this, God took all of us and God put us in Christ. He didn't just die for us, Jesus died for us. Your true self before God, in God's eyes, is the man at God's right hand. The anointing is transformed. The anointing is transformed. The anointing is transformed. The anointing is transformed. On this next one, you'll see Stacey Campbell, one of the leading women of the movement, get taken over by a supernatural power and start to preach a message about the love of God and the movement. She's not prophesying here. What she's doing is called channeling. Channeling is a new age term for spirit possession. This occurs when humans willingly give their minds and bodies to spirit beings. These spirits enter and control the people and use them to give spiritual teachings or other information. When spirits use the mouth and speak out information, this is called channeling. When I first saw this, it reminded me of a scene out of that movie called The Exorcist. The only difference being in this case, the head doesn't turn right around. It is very easy for a young Christian.
when you fall in love with Jesus, you fall out of love with sin. When I fell in love with my wife Wendy, I fell out of love with every lady. I want you to listen to this. This is an interview that Joseph Prince had on TBN. The name of the gentleman interviewing, interviewing him escapes me right now. I've seen him before, but at any rate, uh, listen to this. Uh, this is just from last year, 2012. Listen to this from Joseph Prince. We'll probably stop it along the way as, uh, as he comments. I'll, I'll comment on what he's talking about. God, and I want to go back just a little bit because people that have read your book know the story. How did this happen? How did God take, because I know that, you know, you you were influenced by a lot of, uh, of the same mentors that everyone else had, but yet something unique happened. Take us back to that moment and then let's talk about this. Well, I've been a Word of Faith preacher all the years uh, before I encountered this grace revolution, you know. Okay, you heard right there. He said, I've been a word of faith preacher. Okay, very clearly. He is word of faith right out of his own mouth. If anybody thinks Joseph Prince is not word of faith, yes, he is. Are you ready for today's word? Today I'm touch on faith. All right, faith. But I'm going to push it in a different slant. Okay, and we'll start off with this very famous verse. Some people quote this. Hagen 11:24, but it's not. Brother Hagen didn't write this. Verse. I still have that thing. So, brother, brother Hagen, 17-year-old boy, saw this verse, and then he's been praying many times ever since he was a fast. Amen. And he passed away in in 2003 to be with Jesus, without sickness, without disease. And he passed away in in 2003 to be with Jesus, without sickness, without disease. A man fully, you know, blessed, fully whole, healed. Amen. Took off after breakfast. At least he had breakfast. After breakfast, he smiled at his wife and he took off. It's so wonderful. Amen. In fact, my wife Wendy went to his funeral. 